Welcome to this video that shows you how to use an alias when running queries in Microsoft Access. So, the practice problem we're going to look at is this one. Create a list of customers listing their first name, last name, and email. Have the column headings display, quote, first name, then last name, and email. Display in the final query these fields in this order, first name, last name, and email. Now, this will make more sense when I open up Access and I go to create query. All right, so I'm going to look at customers, so I'm going to drag customers over here. And what the query wants me to show is their first name, their last name, and their email, which is pretty basic and, and easy to run. But if you go back and look at it, it wants us to display in the headings first underscore name and last underscore name. All right, to do this, you can notice that it in the table it's listed as first name just all as one word. So what we can do to create an alias is just type first underscore last name and a colon. And what this will do is replace the table name with whatever we write here. So when I run it you can see it's first underscore name. And I can do the same thing for last name. And now email already says the same the how it was the question asked so it's good to go. And overall, you have first name, last name, email, just like it's asked. Now, as you look at this, why might you want to do this? Well, sometimes table names can be very uh, difficult to understand or not, not easy for somebody who isn't, hasn't designed it. For example, if we open up ship detail, ship no, inventory no, quantity ship, while they have some explanation to somebody who's not used to this database, they might be confusing. Also, they can sometimes be long and you want to shorten the name so that it's easier to use and reference in future queries. Note that when I save this query, which is just video query one, it actually saves it as first name here. So that if I ever create another query, I'll create one in design mode, and I use alias video query one in here, it will display the new alias name and not the original name. That can come in handy at a later point. All right, so those, that's a simple principle. We'll do one more practice problem just to make sure we've cemented that in our minds. Create a list of customers with a new field called full name. This field should contain first name and last name separated by a space. Display in the final query these fields in this older order, full name and email. So we go back to this query. Now, instead of having first name and last name in two separate fields, we want them just in one. So to do this, there's a couple of things we can do. First, we can say first name. And what we want to use is to concatenate. That's the and sign. Then we're going to put quotes, a space, and quotes to say what we're concatenating. Another and sign, ampersand sign, and then last name. Now notice, I'm going to delete that. When I do that, access pops in this expression one. We know that that's an alias before the semicolon. So if I run this, it combines first and last name as the formula suggests. Then it has this weird expression one up on above. Well, that's not super useful, not what the question asked. So I'm going to change that to full name, and you'll see the result there. Now, if you're not comfortable just writing it down here, you can go into Builder. And here's different functions and ways you can look to build things. So this is just an, a relatively straightforward one. If you've used Excel and used concatenate before, the amp and signed or the ampersand signed just combines these and then the space puts that blank space in them. So the final query looks like this, full name, and has the email and it's combined first and last name into a single cell. So pretty straightforward, just use write the name and put a colon. Uh, we'll remind you when you use names please make sure to avoid spaces, special characters. You can use capitalizations or underscores, but spaces can cause problems in the future, so do your best to follow those naming conventions that are in some of the other readings that you'll, you'll see in the future.